I gotta tell you, I am super pumped out for this show. I got the perfect wood for this test, and I got a, a little tri-tip that is gonna be perfect. We are looking to reverse sear this because I wanna get as much smoke on this puppy as I can. And then we will fire up the master build to that 600 degrees or so and try to get a little sear on this. So I do believe, man, this is gonna be a pretty incredible show. Now look, let's turn the attention down to the board and then fire up that master build. I hope you're as excited for this one as I am as we uh, take a look at this little tri-tip. We'll get that dried off and we have a little bit of cleaning up to do on that thick strip of fat right there. Just get that knife, angle it up, and just kind of move through it. Do it in two, three swipes if necessary. That hard fat is not going to do you any good. It is not going to render down, and it definitely has to come off. And once we get that hard fat off, we are gonna go with this competition cow powder by Uncle Steve, a shake. Look, he is the man of the hour. He is the man of the show. If you've not tried his rubs, you are definitely gonna to wanna to check it out under show notes and definitely pick up some rubs. All right, guys, look, that is it on that. We will let this, uh, we will let this sit here, let that rub do its sting. And then let's head on over to the master bill, load it up with some chunks and fire that bad boy up. So look right off the bat, man. As soon as I touch the, uh, as soon as I touch the lighter to my starter underneath, we had immediate smoke uh, coming through the top. It usually takes a little bit longer than that. I can tell you right now, these chunks are seasoned, man. They are going to light up quick. Hoping that I can control these, uh, control the heat, because again, I want to keep it low. I want to get as much smoke as I can. So I'm going to try to maintain under 200 at least before I turn it up for that reverse sear. Let's follow along and let's see how we do. All right, guys, look, at this point, it is just a wait and see. As you could see, I have an external temperature inside the pit as well as inside the meat because I want to know exactly what is going on in there. Let's see what happens. Half hour, 45 minutes, I would guess, and I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys, so look, everything that happened was supposed to happen 45 minutes in, and we are at an internal temperature of 100. I am keeping that low on purpose. She definitely got a lot of smoke. There is no doubt about it. I'm gonna bring you in so we can take a look at that hopper. Then I am gonna fire up the master belt to six, 700 Fahrenheit so we can get the proper sear on this puppy. So there you see what is left of our chunks, our original batch of chunks. We will get some more in there as we turn the pit up. We will get the try off on the board, let it rest. Once we hit that five, 550, 600 inside, we will get the try tip back in. Guys, tri-tip goes in. I will leave it for about a minute or so, and then I will give it a quarter turn. Another minute or so, then I'll give it a flip, and I'll leave it in there for about one more final minute. I am hoping to nail that, you know, that medium rare to rare, and I think three minutes at about 550 to 650 should do the trick, yeah. Now, one thing's for sure, man, I am definitely digging the color, man. That is a, uh, that is a good looking piece of meat right there. Yeah. Yeah. So look, we will get that bad boy on the board. We will let it rest for about 10 minutes or so, and then I'll bring you guys back and we will give it a quick slice and a taste test. Yeah. Alrighty, look, man, that is about 10 minutes and I can wait no longer. Yeah. 
Oh yeah. Guys, for me, that is uh, that is pretty perfectly cooked. I would say that is a would you say that is a nice uh, medium rare, and she's definitely got the. Uh, Definitely got some juices flowing, but hey, man, the uh, what, what we're more interested in is the uh, wood flavor. Now, look, I know that uh, when this sits in the uh, fridge for a couple hours or on the stove for a couple hours, she's going to take on some more wood flavor. At least that's what she does with pellets and also with uh, with the master build when you're using, um, you know, uh, a charcoal with wood chunks. On um, my uh, Lone Star over there, man, the, uh, the wood flavor was sweet. It was a whole different type of wood flavor. That is what I am looking for here. Enough talk. Let's go in. Well, I got to say, man. I gotta say, man, without doing a, uh, without doing a side by side with the Lone Star, man, this is uh, this is damn close. I do think the smoke is a little bit more dirtier than the Lone Star, if that makes any sense. So look, man. Either way, man, this is definitely, uh, it is definitely 100% a different flavor uh, than if you would use uh, the way the Master Built intended you to use it, which is charcoal with chunks or lump with chunks. So look, is it better than, uh, than than charcoal with the wood chunks? 100%. It is because it has a uh, it has a better smoky flavor. Is it better than the Lone Star? I'm not so sure about that, as I do believe the uh, wood flavor on the Lone Star is a little bit more cleaner. Like I said, maybe an A B is in order. Other than that, total success. Give this a try. There is no doubt about it. Also, that Uncle Steve shake is killer on this. That is that competition cow powder. That is definitely my uh, my choice when I am doing beef. There is no doubt about it. Again, information down below under show notes. Again, man, I appreciate you all for watching. We are going to close out this show. And until next time, we will see you soon.